Sophie Turner and Odessa Young are here to talk about The Staircase on HBO Max. Dad tells stories. I keep that from all of us, not from Mom. She would have told me. <laughs> you're beautiful, and you're my daughter. One of the things that's really pulling me in is the family element, the fact that we get inside the family relationships. Can you talk about why that's important in this show, that it's not just set in the courtroom, that we're actually getting a lot of the family drama? Sophie, I can start with you. Uh, I mean, I think it's, you know, the, this story really is about this family, this wild and eclectic mix of people that, that all call themselves one big family. The documentary, you know, it didn't necessarily cover, you know, what the impacts of this case and this trial on this family. Um, but also you, you kind of see, you see these kids, stance on on you know where they stand in terms of supporting their father uh but you don't see really why or how they get to this place of like complete you know certainty that this man is absolutely innocent or or speculation against their father uh, this uncertainty and doubt and um i think it's really important to see you know the behind the scenes on on why these people are where they are and uh in where they stand um it's fascinating yeah odessa anything you want to add there um yeah i mean i think like one of the the greatest feelings of injustice that we can have upon ourselves is the feeling of being misunderstood and i think that so much of the coverage of this case has not not you know changed people's stories but just neglected to focus on them or left things out and and I think ultimately what's been left out of a lot of the kind of tellings of this is 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 the family and their emotional reality um and the the very real people who uh who have been very closely affected by this case and I think what I like so much about this series is that it is actually not so focused on whether or not Michael is guilty or innocent. I think that it's understood that, you know, there is a, to a certain extent, we will never know because all the information's out there. It happened so long ago. What more can we understand about it? And so instead it's focusing on really, yeah, the impacts that the case has on the people around it and also the impacts that the documentary has on the people who were subjects in it and the impact of the ambiguity of the case um, and just these things that aren't really discussed or haven't been discussed so far. Yeah, there's a moment in episode three where Michael says to your characters, you know, it's just us now, there's no more secrets. And as a viewer, I'm like going, I, I don't believe him. Um, but what, do you think your characters, is that what they're struggling with is whether they should believe him or not? Does that waver throughout all of this for each of them? For Margaret, I think, well, for both of them, I think it, it absolutely wavers. Margaret initially is very much kind of, uh, sh- in the beginning has no um, qualms about blindly supporting her father and, you know, that, my father is innocent, father, pseudo father. Um, My, you know, uh, Michael is completely innocent and and we shouldn't even say one bad word about him. He's saved us. He is a good man. There's no way that he did it. And then, you know, as the series goes on, she kind of grows up and starts to realize, um, you know, just regurgitating other your parents opinions on things or, or other people's opinions is no good for your mental health and and actually serves you in no real way um and she grow she's growing up and realizing you know maybe my parents aren't perfect and maybe this man isn't the man that I thought he was maybe he's a human being and has you know serious faults and and maybe those faults even led him to do something heinous like push his wife down the stairs okay odessa with martha can you talk about she she really takes the like a very she takes it more personally i think or at least there's scenes where you know she's having panic attacks in the courtroom and saying things like that can you talk to what she's going through in those moments well i think that 
I think that with Martha, so much of her um, life has been kind of plagued by this feeling of otherness. And, you know, it's kind of explored in our series that um, she was a really difficult child. Uh, and after the death of her parents, um, nobody really knew what to do with her. And Margaret was easy to look after and Martha was really hard to look after because she had these crazy tantrums and she felt so much and she was so big and disruptive. And I think that even before the death of Kathleen, Margaret and Martha had to deal with so much uh, of an upset family dynamic that by the time this all comes along, it's just kind of trauma upon trauma. Um, and ultimately they rely very heavily on each other to kind of anchor them, anchor each other. And mm -hmm. um, it's a really beautiful relationship and it's a really complicated and, and, and sad relationship as well. Click the subscribe button under this video and watch The Staircase starting May 5th on HBO Max.